We teach them each day at school, and so the thought of them not eating um, is almost too much to bear. You might recall last week we brought you that story of the teachers in Noblesville who decided to turn their weekend meal program into one that lasted all week long after the school closures were announced. Yeah, but they needed donations to make that happen, and as our Sarah Jones tells us, the community stepped up to help. So last week we told you about Fueled for Schools call for donations. You guys answered, so let's check out how those donations are helping to make sure people are fed in Noblesville. There was a response. In fact, we were really blown away by our community. We've had several thousand pounds come in just from our community, so they've really rallied behind us. But they're just getting started. Not only is transitioning from a weekend program to a week-long program difficult, Schools and business closures mean demand is up. Within 24 hours, our number of students served doubled. We typically serve between 250 and 350. And then on Monday, we packed enough for 600, hoping we wouldn't need that 600. We ended up using 500 meal packs. And they expect that number to grow. Funding is going to be something that we're going to have to continue to work on to make sure that we can sustain this program. Coronavirus prevention guidelines mean less volunteers. That operation, which is typically 50 to 70 people, has now been reduced to 10. We've been doing 12 to 14 hour days, and many of us have started instructing e-learning. We all have three or four children each. For the teachers who launched the program, it's a passion. These are our children. These are the children of our community. We love them. At the end of each year, they pick a theme for the next. Our theme this year was love your neighbor. The teachers say that's exactly what their community is doing. In Noblesville, Sarah Jones, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Yeah, what a great effort there. That's yes. awesome. I mean, teaching the kids, yeah. feeding the kids, caring for their own kids. These people have big hearts. Yeah, they do. Fueled for School says they're moving away from food donations to monetary donations because that would allow them to buy in bulk. It also reduces the number of people who touch those donations. Yes, that's really key yep. as we're trying to control contamination. Mm -hmm. They are going to be open tomorrow from 10 mm. until noon. They're at Ivy Tech in Noblesville.